load building. I mean, what were some of the business challenges or improvement opportunities that you were looking to address? So if you remember, fuel in the middle of 2022 started skyrocketing out of control. Our cost per hundred weight was going up. We also were not near the industry standard in that average weight per load for solid truckloads of all pallets, you know, all maximizing the maximum weight per load. So we were below industry standard. We kept tracking that and our cost per hundred weight just kept going up. And that's, that's our big factor there. So again, like I said, we've got light and heavy, heavy things going on. So we needed to find a way to challenge what we were setting as the max weight per load um, in SAP to be able to build loads um, or in, in our planning system to, to build truckloads to go out to the distribution centers. Um, part of it's due to the loader turnover, um, the lack of any pallet patterns. Loaders get a load, they just go and they pick it and put it on the trailer any way they want. Um, so lack of dunnage or wrong dunnage spacing, maybe heavy on top of light, et cetera, those type of things, not turning pallets, loading them straight in. So we ended up with a lot of damages at the DC, a lot of, a lot of rework at the DC. There were a lot of times that we would get uh, trailers back over axle because they're with such a broad range of pallet weight that they're loading. It was at the mercy of each loader to just, they're out there just loading a load. And uh, you know, Memphis is a seven day operation. So it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's a lot of different loaders training and you know the turnover and all of that is, is difficult when you're dealing with those many variables. Um, so that was the main thing. And then the other of course was we're tracking sustainability with Abro in Spain. And so of course with the emissions and reducing the number of loads and, and the savings, not only in freight costs, um, and in cost per hundred weight, but also in the sustainability side of the arena. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I mean, I think, you know, the challenges you, you brought up, I think are common for, for many companies because I hear, you know, same type, types of things, particularly when you've got a you know, diversity of products um, and, you know, sometimes you're being driven by, you know, we just have to, you know, we have to get the product out and, you know, uh, the, the, you know, in terms of having a consistent process in place or some kind of discipline in place to find to be able to do it in the most efficient and effective way possible is, um, you know, something that is lacking in, in, in many companies. I think the other aspect is, you know, you brought up sustainability. And I think that's another area that we're hearing a lot more from shippers as well. That's driving a, a, a lot of initiatives around transportation management, considering the role that transportation plays in carbon emissions and just in, in being able to achieve the sustainability goals that companies have. 